Hello. Welcome to the Center for Global Safe Water, Sanitation, and Hygiene at Emory's informational video about the WASH Certificate Program. My name is Joanne McGriff, and I am faculty in the Hubert Department of Global Health and Associate Director of the Center, also known as the CGSW. So what is the WASH Certificate all about? First, we are happy to say that since 2013, we are the only academic WASH certificate program offered to master's students in a school of public health in our nation. Over the past five years, our program has grown from graduating only seven students in our first class in 2013 to graduating over 60 students between 2014 and 2017. Our WASH program offers relevant WASH-related courses and field activities both in Atlanta and in numerous developing countries. We are also excited to know that many of our WASH students participate in cross-disciplinary kinds of research and service with our Emory and CGSW partners. So what is the CGSW? The Center for Global Safe WASH, or CGSW, is a consortium of WASH, WASH research investigators and practitioners in the Atlanta area. Our core partners include Emory, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Carter Center, Georgia Tech, CARE, and Task Force for Global Health. There are also several affiliated investigators from Georgia State University, University of Georgia, and Morehouse University. Our mission is to enable organizations and communities to provide safe, effective, and sustainable drinking water, sanitation, and hygiene improvements. The CGSW accomplishes this mission by conducting applied research, monitoring and evaluation, and capacity building and training to promote global health equity through universal access to safe water, sanitation, and hygiene solutions for the world's most vulnerable populations. This slide is a brief summary of the types of research topics that CGSW investigators undertake. As you can see in the map, these projects are happening all over the world in over 18 countries as of 2016. Topics such as point of use water treatment and storage options, behavioral research on sanitation programs, and lab research on enteric viruses in water and wastewater are just a few examples of the type of research topics that we undertake. For our M&E activities, our investigators have undertaken economic evaluations, various types of WASH needs assessments, program evaluations, and sustainability assessments. In addition, research teams have participated in a variety of training activities, both through the WASH certificate program with our master students, as well as with in-country partners on important WASH-related challenges in their communities. So now let's talk about the WASH certificate. The purpose of the program is to train Rollins graduate students to be competitive for WASH-related careers. If you decide to pursue the WASH certificate, we expect that you will develop several academic and professional competencies. For example, you will be able to describe the multidisciplinary nature of WASH-related issues, practice WASH-related laboratory methods, recognize the role of policy in shaping the WASH landscape, and then demonstrate WASH-related knowledge and practice by, completed a, by completing a capstone or thesis, and then also a WASH-related field experience, also known as the practicum or JIFI. In terms of program requirements, the WASH certificate requires that you complete a minimum of 12 credit hours of WASH-related coursework, of which one must be methods-related and one must be biology-related. You must also maintain a GPA, GPA of 3.3 in all WASH-related courses. On my next slide, you will see an example list of WASH courses that are offered in fall and spring each year. As you can see, we have many courses that you can choose from, and there are many more listed on our website. Examples for the fall semester include Water and Sanitation in Developing Countries, taught by Dr. Christine Moe, Monitoring and Evaluation, taught by Dr. Matthew Freeman, and Geographic Information Systems, or GIS, taught by Dr. Julie Clennon. For the spring, we have Global Environmental Health Policy, Power, Science, and Justice, taught by Dr. Tom Clausen, 
and research methods for studies of water and health taught by Dr. Karen Levy. As always, please be sure to check the WASH certificate website to find out if there have been any significant changes to this course list. Just a few more important requirements for you to take note of. Every WASH student is required to attend two WASH seminars during your first year and two seminars during your second year to total four seminars for your two-year master's program. These seminars are generally scheduled at least once per month for one hour at 12 noon, with a few exceptions where we schedule late afternoon seminars. These are great opportunities to learn and meet WASH practitioners and researchers performing excellent work in the WASH field. Because we know you have lots going on, the CGSW makes sure to provide plenty of opportunities for you to meet this requirement by having many seminars for you to choose from. Over the past several years, we have noted that students often exceed the seminar requirement of four, and many actually attend anywhere between seven to ten seminars during their time at Rollins. Of course, the most important element of meeting this practicum requirement is signing in. We cannot stress the importance of your signature. We will be unable to give credit for seminar attendance without your physical signature on our sheet. The next program requirement for the WASH certificate is wrapped into the general RSPH requirement for all MPH and MSPH students. As you know, the practicum is a unique opportunity here at Rollins and ensures that all students have the opportunity to apply knowledge and research findings to public health settings. In some cases, students can use some of this work as a graduate assistantship or teaching assistantship position that is structured to meet the requirement, the practicum requirements. The practicum process usually begins during the second semester. In order to complete the WASH certificate, you must successfully complete a WASH-related practicum or JIFI. A global, global field experience is a unique opportunity for students to apply the skills and, and knowledge they have gained through their first year at the Rollins School of Public Health in low resource or high disparity settings around the globe. A JIFI is a minimum of six weeks and is traditionally conducted during the summer between years one and two of the master's program. Many students base their thesis or capstone project on the data they collect during their JIFI. The CGSW has a vast network of partners and has been able to offer student JIFI opportunities with agencies and organizations such as CARE, Save the Children, UNICEF, WHO, and the Catholic Relief Services, known as CRS. On this slide, these are just some of the examples of student projects that were completed as part of the JIFI. For more examples, please visit our website. Our final requirement involves the WASH-related thesis or capstone. This is your final project for the master's program. To qualify for credit for the WASH certificate, the thesis must be WASH-related, must cover a WASH-related topic, and preferably be advised by an Emory CGSW faculty member or a CGSW affiliated investigator or partner. If you would like to complete a thesis or capstone with a non-CGSW faculty or investigator, then you must fill out a provisional approval form and submit it to me, Dr. Joanne McGriff. Please be advised that you must receive approval if you would like your thesis that is not advised by a CGSW mentor to count towards a certificate. For health policy management students, please see me as early as possible regarding alternatives to the thesis and capstone requirements. In order to graduate with a certificate, all WASH students will undergo a verification process. This is primarily because the WASH certificate is self-guided and no one is tracking your coursework or GPA as to whether you have or will meet the requirements. So in February of your second year, you will receive a request to fill out a verification form. This form must be completed by the deadline or you will not graduate with the WASH certificate. After the form is completed, you will meet with me with a copy of your transcripts. During the verification interview, WASH students and I sit down one-on-one -on -one and we review and verify your GPA and our records for your seminar attendance. You must have all the requirements in order to be cleared for graduation. So do you like what you've heard and do you want to make it official? If so, please send Kathleen or Kat Peters 
an email stating your interest. CAT is the CGSW Research Administrator and Liaison for WASH students. CAT will add your name to the WASH Certificate Student Listserv as well as the general CGSW Listserv where all of our partners are featured. CAT will also periodically send you important information about completing your certificate. But please be advised, although we are happy to answer your questions, remember this is a self-directed certificate. You are ultimately responsible for meeting all deadlines and WASH requirements. If you still have any questions or would like to reach out to us, please do not hesitate to email Kathleen, Kat Peters, or myself, Joanne McGriff, at the email provided. For more information about the course, the course schedules and forms, as well as just general information about the WASH certificate, please see the website noted below, as well as the QR code. Upcoming announcements regarding the WASH certificate include our open house for Emory students. The open house generally occurs early in September. Please keep a watch for the listserv announcement that will let you know when the date and time will be. Also, stay tuned for other seminar announcements, practicum fairs, and community outreach activities that we make available through the listserv. Thank you.